Hello my friends, you surely know this sound. Yeah, this is MG42 in action, colloquially known as Hitler's bus saw. Apparently the soldiers were afraid to pick up from the ground when they hear its sound. It's not surprising because compared to other machine guns it was a really killing machine. Anyway, this was the assumption. The area under the MG42 fire was completely close to any movement. But there were also some disadvantages. The enormous rate of fire caused a very high consumption of ammunition. There was also the problem with overheating gun barrel which needed to be changed very often. After some experiences the orders of the German army officials appeared limiting the number of the series length to 250 rounds in single burst. Ok, but leaving the historical background I would like to go to model itself. Due to the fact that I started working on the next project and one of the elements there is a machine gun I decided to use the set I received some time ago from Master Model. What we have here is a mix of resin, 3D prints, PE and metal elements. They are produced in the highest possible level that you will see in a moment. We also have an instruction in the package for correct building and using parts to build a battle ready as well as a disassembled version. The ammunition belt and the empty belt also offer great possibilities because apart from them you can also attach a rant magazine. If there were two barrels in the package we would build two rifles from the set. The resin is soft and therefore we can easily cut and sand all the parts. This is very important because the elements are very small and it helps during the building process. All parts fit together perfectly and you can see that the producer has put a lot of work to ensure that the modeler doesn't lose his nerves and money while building this set. I glued everything with CA glue. As this is my habit in each episode I have to say what has to be said. So, if this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would be nice if you could leave a like and comment and also take a look at my other videos. If you are interested in what I do, you can also check my Patreon account where you will find even more interesting materials. This is the place in net where I publish the most right now. Just for patrons I prepare reports on daily work, articles, ask for their opinion and show films earlier than on the official YouTube channel. In addition there are a few other interesting perks of being a patron but you can see for yourself. I think you won't be disappointed and you will see what other projects I do apart from those shown on YouTube. So please consider joining to this superb group. You can find the link in the description of this movie. From the photo edge set I needed two elements for anti-aircraft fire. The rest of the elements will be useful if we make a version to equip the figure for example. All needed elements are on this plate. I cut out the mount from the Tacom's MG part to make life a little easier. Thanks to this the model can be easily mounted on the part from the vehicle.
Master model can also enrich German vehicles with other elements. I'm talking mainly about Panthers, King Tigers, Yak Tigers and any other vehicles that had a front machine gun. Panzerlauf consists of two metal elements and their assembly is very easy. If someone also wants to replace the barrel of the gun in the turret of the tank, here it is. End piece for mounting in a hole, for example for Panther. We also have the option of arranging empty shells in the model, which I have already done several times. You can check the Panther series from the link above and find how nice they look on the model. Ok, enough of these ads, we are painting now. First, clean the surface properly. The model degreaser is perfect for this as it removes dirt and any contamination created during construction. It evaporates quickly and the surface is ready for further work. It can be used on all surfaces, an example of which is this model due to the various elements it contains. Before the proper primer is applied to the model I first covered all metal elements with a special metal primer. And now I can spray a black AK undercoat straight from the can. You have to remember to be careful about the amount you put on the model. Small elements can hide under a too thick layer of primer. For painting I used a mixture of black X1 and XF1 from Tamiya. My aim was to achieve a bit of satin surface and I did it. I painted the hole with airbrush and after a while I started painting other elements. The butt is the most visible and from this point I started adding some colors to the gun. You can find different finishing of this item on the internet sources, from black to light brown. Most of the photos show that the buckelid version was used during the war. As I remember the wooden ones were also painted in dark colors, usually black. But I'm going to make a little misrepresentation here. In my opinion a shade of brown looks best because it creates a contrast between the wood and metal finish. The method of finishing depends on personal preferences. As you can see, I decided to play with this element a bit and added some colors. In general it's best if it's not too bright. In fact, it would get dirty and dark very quickly.
I painted the ammo magazine green. Of course, the reason for this is to build the contrast. It could also be black or sand, but those colors were out of the question. The one of the last work on the model is pigmentation. Weapons must have a metallic sheen and this pigment is ideal for this purpose. I didn't want to make bare metal weapons, because I know that this effect appears after a long period of intensive use and was rather unseen on equipment that was in service for several months. I applied the pigment with an old brush to both the front machine gun and the main model. Before the finish, a drop of wash on colored elements, I'm talking about a pistol grip and the magazine. There was no pigment, so no problem with applying of this product should be appear. A bit of rust on the barrel will be a really inconspicuous addition, but here more has been done to signal that this effect may appear on weapons that are used intensively in the field where soldiers don't have enough time to service them. Additionally, here and there I added few scratches painted with pencil which are placed mainly on the edges. And this is the last stage of work I did on this model. In conclusion I have to say that the few hours I spent on making this supplement was worth the effect you see now. It can be said that this machine gun is a model in the model. I think that anyone who has seen how it's built will confirm my words. For now, at the end, a few photos of the original one that was used to make this set by the producer. Ok, for now thank you for watching this episode and I hope that someone will find it useful. As I said before, if you like what I do, subscribe to the channel, give me a like and write a comment. It would be great if you shared this material on all social media because maybe your friends don't know about Coldemons PL. This will be definitely good for humanity and especially for me if you help me to promote my works. For now remember to check out my Patreon and join the club. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!